see this right here this is the uh, Xenix 502 Behringer mixer now I'm gonna tell you all a little bit something about this and how I go about using it now I got it kind of down right now because I'm trying to repair it you see I got it open but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and explain to you how I use this first of all it has a XLR uh, input which you can take the XR, XLR and let me see switch it over to 1 8th then you can go from 1 8th of course goes right over to your computer or to your cell phone or whatever it takes 1 8th and it has a quarter inch right here quarter inch input good for a guitar or whatever you're going to use quarter inch right there and this first strip right here is um, they actually give you there's a gain so you can uh, give it more gain if you need more gain but then the red light here is set up so if you start clipping if, if the signal is too high it will start clipping so then you're going to have to adjust your gain now it has uh, line inputs two and three two and three and three and four total of five right here so each one of these are monos so there's a mono there mono here uh, basically you know I was using it to uh, I actually had bounced my 16 track mixer over to one of these inputs and then the um, I would run over here it says inputs line inputs and from the, from those line inputs man I was running like tape decks into it and just anything I could to just add extra into the mix and the output then I was running the output sometime to my zoom h1n you know it's the one one of those microphones that you can take on the go Zoom H1N, which is a great microphone. But um, then, then it says CD to tapes, and that's where if you hit one of these buttons right here, then it goes line input, so you can run your sound to the uh, RCAs. Then you want to come out, then you just uh, hit the button out, or um, CD to tape, the CD blah blah blah. Any way. You know what I'm saying so and these left and rights quarter inch you know this can go straight to concert all you got to do and what I'm saying by concert is you can take these uh these left and rights here and run the run them into a PA system now if if uh, you even had your DJ set up man you can run your whole DJ set up to one of these and add on to one of these these is smooth now for for the price that it costs they cool but eventually you probably run out of spaces but uh hey I just wanted to show y'all what was happening how I go about using this I had to uh, show you this before I uh put the cover back on and give you some of this right here all right y'all hey be cool all right like i said they cool all right later